We are breaking down new evidence shared with the January 6th Select House Committee, never before seen interviews with then President Trump, members of his family, members of his inner circle, both before and after the horrific attack on the U.S. Capitol January 6th. British documentarian Alex Holder was just interviewed by House investigators about his documentary, which will air later this summer on Discovery Plus, which we should note shares a parent company with CNN, uh, and provided us with clips from the film. I want to take a look uh, at a, a new clip for you. It's a portion of the documentary that features an interview with the president's daughter and advisor, Ivanka Trump, as the president was engaged in a full court press in December to try to overturn the legal legitimate results of the 2020 election. Take a look. They thought because people showed up to their rallies, that meant they were popular. The idea that other people might be sitting at home feeling differently about it seems not to have occurred to them. They genuinely thought that must be true. We won Georgia, we won Michigan, we won Pennsylvania, we won them all. As the president has said, every single vote needs to be counted and needs to be heard, and he campaigned for the voiceless. It's interesting to see Ivanka Trump say that her father wanted every vote to be counted because Trump's mission in the days after the election was to stop the counting of votes. The reality is people in this country were getting multiple ballots in the mail. There are thousands and thousands of people who are voting in multiple states. There's no evidence whatsoever that the voter fraud that they're claiming. But after weeks of trying to overturn the results of the election, his legal team has come up with nothing. So far, they've lost 30 cases. I would love to release all the information that I have. I would love to give it to you all. Except most of you wouldn't cover it. All of the legal documents and everything else, it's not even a contest, but you still need a judge that has courage. And so far, we haven't found that judge. In addition to that clip, the documentary reportedly includes Ivanka Trump saying that her father should continue to fight because people are questioning, quote, the sanctity of our elections. Now, you can compare what Ivanka Trump said in this documentary uh, before it was clear that her dad was not going to be able to steal the election to what she told the January 6th Select Committee under oath about the election results. How did that affect your perspective about the election when Attorney General Barr made that statement? It affected my perspective. Um, I respect Attorney General Barr. Um, so I accepted what he said, was saying. That's a reference to uh, Attorney General Barr uh, saying that the claims of uh, widespread voter fraud were, quote, bullshit. Uh, let's go to Pamela Brown on Capitol Hill, who has some new reporting on Ivanka Trump. Pamela, tell us more. Right, so I spoke to a source familiar with the behind the scenes activity having to do with this documentary. And this person I spoke to, Jake, downplayed its significance, saying it was pitched to Ivanka and Jared and other members of the Trump family as a, quote, puff, puff, puff piece. Uh, they viewed it as inconsequential. Uh, they said it was pitched to them by Jason Greenblatt, who is a former White House aide, longtime lawyer uh, for Donald Trump. Now, I pressed on, well, why would they sit down um, and do these interviews during such a sensitive time if this was seen as so inconsequential? And the person I spoke with said, well, Ivanka Trump um, didn't want to get into a fight with her dad and she was doing it as a favor for her friend. But what is important to note is that what I am told is that essentially what Ivanka said in that clip, as you pointed out, that contradicted what she told the January 6th committee under oath, was that she didn't really believe um, that, you know, what she said in that documentary, that this person I spoke to said she didn't want to contradict her dad. And so that is why she said what she said, trying to defend her and downplay it. But we know from our own reporting, Jake, that even in mid-November, Ivanka Trump was privately telling uh, her confidants that she didn't think that the legal challenges would change the outcome of the election. And so clearly she's trying to have it both ways here, privately telling confidants that, clearly uh, under oath saying that she knew once Bill Barr said, especially in December 1st, that there was no widespread fraud, but then saying on camera in this documentary that's supposed to be this puff piece um, that she thought that every vote should be counted because people were questioning the sanctity of an election, that she know that she knew her dad had lost. Jake? Yeah, she said, uh, as the president has said, every single vote needs to be counted. She knew, she knew that her dad had lost. She was telling people that privately in November. 
Yeah, but her dad was not trying to get every single vote counted. Her no, dad literally because he her tried dad, to stop the vote counting. Yeah, exactly. Her, her dad literally tweeted the Thursday after the election, "Stop the count." And I mean, so I brought this up to someone I spoke to today. I said, "Well, she she was saying he wants to see every vote counted, but yet he was saying stop the vote count because it wasn't good for him." And uh, this person, the, one of the people I spoke with today, tried to defend her. So see, she she's not just a mouthpiece for her dad, <laughs> but clearly in this case, Jake, uh, she was trying to toe that line, walk that line uh, by saying what her dad had been saying publicly, even though privately um, she was telling confidants different things.